Now, we really wanted to help out again with Comet Relief this year. But we can't because of some unusual events which happened to us last week. While I was spending the day with an RNLI lifeboat crew in Fishguard, my girlfriend went for a night out with some friends at a nightclub. The cast of Hollyoaks were at the same nightclub, celebrating the end of their series. Jason's girlfriend made friends with one of the actors from Hollyoaks and the two of them went back to his hotel room for a bedtime drink. While they were at the actor from Hollyoaks' hotel room, Jason's girlfriend experienced difficulties with her mobile phone and the actor from Hollyoaks decided to help her. While he was helping her, his hands slipped and he accidentally took 64 photos of various parts of her body. Then her hand slipped and she accidentally took 75 photos of his body plus a short film of the pair of them together. This is the film you may have seen or heard about on the internet. I had a great day out with the RNLI lifeboat crew, but when I heard about my girlfriend's trip to the nightclub, I wanted to find the actor from Hollyoaks so I could thank him in person for fixing her mobile phone. This is when we discovered Jason being very sad and shouting outside Channel 4, which is where Hollyoaks is made. Jason had made some placards using leftover cardboard and water-soluble paints, and he was holding the Channel 4 receptionist hostage using a nail gun from the Blue Peter Garden. Alistair and I saw that Jason was very stressed, so we took him for a relaxing massage at a 24-hour health club in King's Cross. One of the workers at the health club recognised Alistair from the Welcome to London videos he presents for Flycost Airlines. So Alistair took her into one of the private rooms so he could tell her a bit more about London. Alistair was really telling her a lot about London when one of her friends decided to come in and take a photograph. This is the photograph you may have seen on the front page of the Sunday Mirror. Meanwhile, Tina wanted us all to be nice and calm, so she put a call through to Edward, the Blue Peter vet, who came over on his motorbike with some horse tranquilizer, plus some other stuff for us to try. Soon, Alistair and I were feeling very calm indeed, but a man from the Czech Republic asked us to leave the club because Jason had fallen asleep in the corner and had done a wee. While I was apologising to the man and explaining to him the story about Jason's girlfriend and the actor from Hollyoaks, without meaning to, I bit him on the nose. At this point I woke up and accidentally put a Mayday call through to the Fishguard RNLI. This is the call you will have heard on Radio 1's Newsbeat. The BBC are having a bit of a think. And while they're thinking, they say it's best if we don't present any live television for a while. That's why we can't be with you on Comic Relief tonight. We now realise our behaviour is not what you expect from us. When these things happened, we let you down. And we'd like to say sorry to all our viewers. Jason, you've been learning to ice skate on stilts. Yes, I have. <laughs>